Hi, let's take a look at the project window info line section and track view section in your window live 2. Starting with the info line, the info line will give you general information about the project, such as recording maximum times, recording format, pre-recorded in seconds, record folder locations, the output mode, as well as the project frame rate. As you can see, you can open the setting window directly on clicking the section, for example. If we look at the track view sections, we have two tabs. We have a track view tab and we have a meter view tab, which will display the record panel on the left and the meters on the right. So we'll go back to track view. We have object tool selections. We have a range tool selections, the color tool selections, and the auto scroll function. Now, as you can see, I have a project which I already named the instruments, already give it a color using the color tool. Now, directly below the tools, we have the ruler sections, which give you the total track count for the project, in this case, 64 tracks. We have a global unmute all, global deactivate all solo, as well as a global record enable all tracks. Now, under project, you can show or hide the marker track. You can see added a marker track here directly on top. Now, this marker track can be moved to different locations, and you can add a marker before, during, or after the recording, a track by just clicking on this little icon here, which allows you to later on navigate to different marker position within the project. Now, if we look at the track section, we have the mute button, solo button, and the recording enable buttons for different tracks. Now, below the track events section, we have the meter section, which uh, if you click on this little icon here, you can hide or show the meters, which allows you to navigate the meter section and reset the meters. Now let's review what we looked at in this video. We looked at the info line section, which gives you global information about the project. We looked at the track view window, which has two different tabs. We have a track view tab and a meter view tab and different tools you can use for editing with the object tool and wrench tool. You can easily toggle between the object tool and wrench tool by using the number one for object tool and number two for wrench tool. We have the color tool and the auto scroll function, which you can activate or deactivate by pressing the letter F. We looked at the meter view section, which has a record panel on the left side and the meters on the right side. You can also easily toggle between the track and the meter tab by using the option plus V or alt plus V if you have a Windows machine. We looked at the ruler section with global controls for mute, solo, and record. And we looked at the marker track which can show and hide. You can also use the letter K to show and hide the marker track, which allows you to add marker before, during, after the recording, as well as locate the cursor to different marker position. We looked at the tracks and events section with the mute, solo, and record buttons. And finally, we looked at the meter section, which you can show and hide by using the option plus M or alt plus M if you have a Windows machine. 